Niels Hoglander is one of the more prominent Vancouver Canucks related prospects. And a lot of this does have to do with the expectation as to when the Vancouver Canucks were actually able to acquire him because Hoglander was drafted by Vancouver in the 2019 NHL entry draft all the way back there in the second round, 40th overall. Now that in itself is quite a weird number because Hoglander was supposed to go in the first round, depending on who you asked. Most people had him as a first round player, but he slipped all the way down to Vancouver's second round pick, and that's how he's here today. Niels Hoglander is one of the better Canucks prospects, and it really shows in what he's been able to do thus far in 2019-2020. Last year in his draft year, Hoglander was a pretty interesting player in the fact that he was playing in the SHL, the top league in Sweden, where he was given somewhat of a limited role playing 50 games with the Rogla BK. In those 50 games played, he had only 14 points, which is not great, but depending on the age range he was at, he was only 18 at the time, and depending on the ice time he was getting, which wasn't much, it was a really, really impressive resume for a player that established himself in many minds as a first-round talent. He displayed his puck skills, he displayed his capacity for actually sticking in the league, and he showed that he was a player that deserved to play there. So, many Vancouver Canucks fans were really happy when they drafted him 40th overall. This year though, taking a look at what Hoglander has been doing in the top 6 of Rogla BK system, and playing with another good NHL prospect in Dominic Buck, people are ecstatic to see the fact that he's all the way up there at 9 points in 19 games. That's a really, really significant improvement over what he was able to do last season. If you times things out, last year he had 14 points in 50 games. This season, in 50 games, he's on pace for about 23 points, which is a pretty nice improvement. In fact, Hoglander today is not necessarily looking towards the rest of the SHL season, He's looking towards the World Juniors, where for Team Sweden, he's projected to being one of the top players on that team. Hoglander is given the stage here for the World Juniors, and Canucks fans are really excited. A lot of that has to do with the skills that Hoglander displays out there on the ice. Remember two years ago, or was it three years ago, I'm not necessarily too sure, when Casey Middlestad came into the World Juniors and totally took that tournament by storm because his puck skills, his flashiness, his deeks, and his overall flair were through the roof? That was the year that Casey Middlestad was one of the best players in the entire tournament, and it really did show in the results. Niels Hoglander is in a position where he's looking to replicate that as well. Hoglander's puck skills, his deking ability, and his flair. Those are the three most beneficial assets that Hoglander has in his game that it's not even really close. The guy's really, really shifty. The guy's really, really creative. And in fact, Canucks fans are really excited because these are the qualities that make him such a unique NHL prospect. We don't have anybody in our system that's as flashy, as skilled, or as accelerated when it comes to deking as we do with Hoglander. Hoglander is looking to dominate the World Juniors in the same way that the shifty, deking, and overall just crazy puck skills Casey Middlestad did a few years ago, and I'm looking forward to seeing that for sure. He is 19, born in December of 2000, so he is just a little bit past his birthday, so belated happy birthday to Niels Hoglander, but as a youngin playing in the SHL in a top 6 role, it's certainly a really, really good sign to see that he is in a position where he is developing. Questions arose earlier in the year on whether or not Hoglander was already NHL ready after Canucks training camp. We actually covered that in a video here on this channel, so you can check that out. I'll see if I can leave a link in the description. But Hoglander in itself is a player who a lot of people will talk about in saying that he's one of the more ready NHL prospects. It's not even just the deking ability or the capacity to play in the league. Hoglander's fitness is something that a lot of people will note as one of the more underrated parts of his game. 
Hoglander is an absolute fitness freak. And we talked about this in a few videos already, but his workout routine is just incredible. You watch the video of him doing it and it makes your core start to hurt a little bit because Hoglander is such a physically fit athlete and he kind of has to be. Because he's only 5'9", 190 pounds, he kind of has to compensate for the lack of size that he does possess. So it's not a surprise to me to see that Hoglander has developed in this way. And I'm just looking forward to seeing what he'll be able to do at the NHL level when he eventually does make it. I think Hoglander is an NHL talent somewhere down the line, and it's not a surprise because he was supposed to be a first rounder. People saw him as a really skilled player who should not have been available in the second round where he was. Hoglander will probably make the Vancouver Canucks in, let's say, minimum a year, maximum probably three years. I don't see 2022 rolling around and Hoglander not being a part of this team yet. I don't think that's physically possible. The guy is already a work of nature and he's displayed all the skills in progressing upwards that by this time next year, I wouldn't be surprised if Hoglander was in the NHL, having an Elias Pettersson sort of like transition where people are saying, oh, I wouldn't be surprised if he needed some AHL time, but I wouldn't be surprised if he makes it either, and he comes in, totally establishes himself, boom, he's an NHL player. Now, that's not to say that I see Hoglander having the same success as Elias Pettersson, as Pettersson did when he came into the league in his first year, but... That's me saying that I wouldn't be surprised that Hoglander just gets it. He just comes in and he gets it. He comes onto the team, he gets it, and he shows why he belongs. Hoglander in his prime, in my opinion, I could see him being a 50-point guy. 50, 60 points. And a guy who could probably net upwards of 20 goals. He's got a really weird goal scoring ability where his shooting it's pretty all right, but a lot of his goals are going to come by deking out goalies and doing some crazy shifty moves. Nils Hoglander in the SHL already has done the Svechnikov once or twice. Pretty sure it was only once, but you know the Svechnikov move I'm talking about. Before it was called the Michigan, where you would pick the puck up lacrosse style and swoop it in on the far side post. It's called the Svechnikov now because Andrei Svechnikov has been amazing. He did that goal twice in the NHL. But before Svechnikov did that goal the first time, Niels Hoglander did it in the SHL, and it was kind of funny because when he did it, he kind of lunged forward Zorro style while swooping the stick forward. It was a really nice looking move. But that's kind of a testament to the skill, the raw skill and puck skill ability that Niels Hoglander possesses. And it's something that NHL fans are going to have to look out for when he makes the team. Because he's only been progressing upwards. Niels Hoglander has been in the SHL for a while, but he has been slowly creeping his way up on the skill sheet. So by the time he makes this team, I wouldn't be surprised if he's already an established NHL player who has no trouble fitting himself in. But for now, Nils Hoglander is an SHL athlete on pace for about 20-ish points. He's going to dominate the World Juniors, and he's going to be a presence on Team Sweden. He will be a top-line player, and he will be like that because there's really no other choice. Sweden has some other really good players, and even some young, really good players that are going to be available in the draft, like Raymond, etc., but Sweden has always kind of leaned towards their veterans. And that's something that we can't really ignore when it comes to the World Juniors and how they deploy their guys. And who better than Hoglander, who's already been playing a few years in your pro league, and who's already established such a really good track record for himself. And that's pretty much it. Niels Hoglander is one of the top NHL prospects for the Vancouver Canucks, and he's a guy that a lot of Canucks fans are really happy to have taken in the second round, because he had no business being available at that spot. Let us know what you think about Niels Hoglander in the comments below. The guy is an absolute beast. Such a really good puck skill player. Probably one of the fanciest players on the team right now in the organization, in the system. And he's not even on the team yet. So that kind of shows how skilled Niels Hoglander is. But I hope you enjoyed this video. So that's Rose 99. And bye. <laughs>